Who doesn't love a good old painting uh, tutorial? Hey guys, Doug here. Uh, today we're going to paint our little uh, hobo pumpkin man. But, 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 don't get caught up in the pumpkin. This is a painting tutorial where I'm going to show you some things that I may or may not have done in the past. And it's good every once in a while just to uh, update my uh, my painting techniques. So consider it a tutorial even if you don't have a, a pumpkin, all right? And uh, ways to go about painting in the future, maybe maybe up your paint game just a hair so i'm not going to car carve i'm not going to paint here i'm going to move over there where it feels a little bit more roomy and uh so i'm going to set up and uh we'll jump right into it okay first thing i'm going to do with this guy is put oil on it now i'm only putting oil on it because i'm going to be doing some paint layering and the oil it seals it somewhat but also keeps the the paint from penetrating too quickly so if i was just if this is just solid colors i might just spray it spray it with water and paint it wet and that does a good job too and then finish it after but in this case since i'm going to be adding different layers of paint in the hair especially i'm going to uh put oil now in the past i've been using uh linseed oil and linseed oil works good this is boiled linseed oil but I saw a buddy uh, Kevin Coates using this product here, which is uh, Terra Nova Nature Oil. And I'm going to, well, I have been trying it, and it seems to be working pretty good. Now, the difference, why I wanted to switch was, in time, that uh, if I don't paint the skin tones, the oil will uh, actually go really yellow and uh, really darken. So, in this case, I'm just going to... Uh, try this for a little bit and see what happens i have no don't know if i'm really recommending it but uh we're trying it and like i said it works good and it doesn't have that yellow color and i haven't seen anything old enough to age but uh i'm fairly confident that it's not going to yellow now i don't know why i'm saying that i'm just guessing but uh it's such a clear liquid and the yellowing is the one thing and the other thing is uh, always the rags always paranoid about the rags and they always take them out to the uh, the wood stove or whatever because of the self-combusting issue so if this works good for me then i'm going to keep using it and then my rags can go right in the garbage can all right so ideally you would uh let that dry for a little bit and I don't have to uh, let it fully dry but I'm gonna let it dry just a little bit and uh, I'll come back and give her a paint but when I say a little bit I'm talking like 15 20 minutes and uh, let it really soak in but otherwise we're gonna start painting the only problem with painting with the oil that's not fully dry is that if you want to speed your work up with a uh, hair dryer after you paint the oil will actually come back out again when you're hair drying so you have to hair dry from a from a distance just lightly you can't blast it hot so anyway we'll let that sit for a good 15 and uh come back and paint now that's actually only been a few minutes but uh i'm gonna paint anyway i've got two two yellows on the go here this one here is no name, I guess, but uh, I'm going to paint that. When I paint, I always uh, wet it, wet it down a bit. All right, so I'm just going to drag the some water into that and just start painting. This is just the, the first coat, but when we're working with the straw, it's nice to uh, get it on there since I'm going to be going over it again. So, if you're coming right off of my last video, it seems to me that the uh, the storm is over and there was no hail. That's good. Anyway, you got the idea on the on the yellow, so I will uh, finish this up, and uh, we'll come back for our next color.
Right. And with our yellow on our straw, let's go right ahead and start with the the orange. All right. So there's the yellow. It's, the yellow's still wet, and it's on five minute old uh, five minute old oil. So pretty speedy oh that's yellow that's yellow is such a nice color. I think it's one of my favorite colors. I had a, I forget what the year, probably like a 1984 orange suburban truck once. It was an ex-Coast Guard truck. You could see me coming a mile away, but I loved it. Alright. There is our our orange. Now I'm gonna have to let this dry pretty good so I have something to hang on to. So like I said, I'll probably go over the blow dryer and blow it, but I gotta hold it back a ways with the hair dryer. Because if it gets too hot, it tends to pull the oil back out, especially being this wet. Alright, so that's what we're gonna do. All right, next. You may think that would be a good idea to keep cleaning up all my little my little uh, paint goobers there, but I have learned to not trust myself in the fact that uh, if I slop paint or make a mess, I have to remake the paint, so I always leave it to the end now. I used to always wipe it up as I went. But we're giving this guy a little black hat, and like you saw, I just wet it up really good. Let's always do the underside here. First, try and avoid that band. Looks like we're going to make that band green again. You can see the paint acts a little bit different with the uh, with the oil on there, and I like it. I don't like shiny, and I don't like solid paint anymore. I like it to soak in, give it a bit of that antiquey look. Right. As far as the uh, the patch there. I'm not even going to bother. I'm going to ignore it for now. I'm going to paint over it and I'll paint over top of the black. It'll be much, much harder to, uh, to paint around. Alrighty. Yeah, it's got a real antique look to it. All right, I'm gonna keep that black candy, but let's put a little bit of green and do that to just a little drop. Do that band with a smaller paintbrush. That's from Curry's. It says 2500. I don't know what that means. It's a paintbrush. Dip my paintbrush in water, and away we go. It's very light. Very light. 
We're almost to the fun part. Make sure the top of the top of the van has some paint. There we go. All right, there you go. While I'm here, might as well take this to drop a red. Let's put a little bit on there. Oops. Keep your hands out of the paint. You need to transfer all the uh, paint to your carving in places you don't want it. Ask me how I know. Right. And that's all we're going to do for that patch. Okay, now, you can see our black here. It's uh, fairly watered down, but we're going to pull it just a little bit farther out here and make it very weak. And then, watch this. We're just going to stick my paintbrush in there and see let it run down. Across the mouth. We're putting a shadow on everything here. Alright. See how sloppy that looks? Now I can just take my paintbrush wet again and just even that out. See that? Like so. That way. We've got nice shadows, but if it wasn't for the oil, that black would just suck right in there. Now oh, look at that. I'm going to go right around the outside, up in the eyes here, right up in there, right around the hair. See that? Oh, I'm just going to wash it a little bit, keeping some of that shadow. See that? See what we're doing? All right. Now we go around all the hair. Don't really care if it uh, runs a little bit. You'll see why in a minute. Right. This is something I wouldn't have dreamed of doing in the past, but now I do it all the time. As much as everybody, a lot of people hate car or hate carving, hate painting. I like painting. Where did the hair come from? here. Shadow that hat. Yeah. Right, let's wet it a little bit. Let it run down. Now we're going to do the same thing. Anywhere we've got these little uh, little cuts, I'm going to put a little bit of black in there. Maybe here and there. Just bringing those shadows around. Because we're going to uh, do a little bit of a dry brushing over this again. So now we've got really, we're going to have three colors. We'll have the original yellow, a little bit of black shadows and highlights. And then a little brighter yellow. Alright. That's where we're at. 
It's not really soaked in there. Hard to see, so if I don't think it's enough, I'll put a little extra in there. Oh, you know what? I forgot something. <gasps> okay, we're going to pause. And I'm going to grab my Jimmy DeResta ice pick. Now, any anything that you have will do. But I've got a ice pick here. And uh, I meant to say this in the carving video. But you don't want to put these whiskers in here. If you have a nail or a pin or a tack or whatever. But uh, I'm going to go crazy here and just put the oh there's my phone put a whole whack of holes here and I do that after the orange because I don't want the orange in the holes I want the black to go in the holes all right so give me one minute here and I'm going to uh, put a whole bunch of these holes in here and then we'll come back with the black again all right you see that like so Okay. I love that. So anytime you want to do a, a five o'clock shadow on someone, you just, just do some of this paint wash. If you want the whiskers, just put some little pinholes in it. <laughs> That's a crazy idea. But I like it. Here, look at that guy. All right, now let's take this brighter yellow. We're gonna take another brush here. Just really quickly, I'm gonna put that brush in there, smoosh it around. Take my paper towel over here. Just kind of wipe it off a little bit, so it's a little bit brighter. You watch how it uh, pops on that. That. We're just gonna we're just hitting some highlights on there. Getting all the high points. So we've got the darker yellow, the black shadows. And now a bright, a bright yellow. All right. Look at this guy. Hey. Eh? Now, just before we stop painting, we can. Uh, Go back, revisit our orange, and see if there's anywhere that we want to orange up a little bit more. I was rubbing, when I was poking the holes, I rubbed it raw on that side. It's not dry yet. All right, I'm gonna let that dry. And we'll come back and put our finishing coat on. All right, there's our guy. He's looking pretty good. All right. So all that's left to do is put a little top coat on here. Now, this is Howard's Feed and Wax. I used to do acrylic varnishes and all the spray acrylic polyurethane and all this stuff but this is Howard feed and wax and I love it it uh, I just keep it in here because it's easier to stick my brush into but all I do with that is put this uh, pin it all over it Normally I let it sit for a while even overnight sometimes and then I take my shoe brush which is special just for this do not use your carving uh, brush 
with this stuff because you'll be putting it on everything. You'll be putting Howard's Feed and Wax on all your dry carvings for the next month once it gets into that brush. So, But what I like the most about this stuff is when it's done, it, here, a second. It has such a nice soft feel to it. Like it just feels nice. I, I don't have any better word than it's a nice matte soft feel. Like it just, uh, when you put that on there, good. Like it just feels really nice. Keeps the fingerprints and dirt off it. And if you want to, you can always go and uh, go and uh, touch it up again, right? But obviously, we're not going to make this dry automatically or with a hair dryer. So we're just going to have to call it there and uh, take my word on it. That uh, where's the bearded fella here? Give me this guy. That that's what he's going to look like when it's dry. All right. So, there you have it. There is our painted up little hobo pumpkin man. So there you go. There's our painted up little uh, hobo pumpkin man. And I hope that was uh, painless enough. But like I said, it's good to uh, just to refresh your memory and show you what I'm doing different. I'm always experimenting and trying different things. So, maybe I won't be doing this again in the... Uh, Three months from now but I know car or painting videos are boring but uh, hey it's all part of the job so all right guys till next time enjoy your pumpkin carving your pumpkin painting your pumpkin eating pumpkin pumpkin whatever growing collecting and uh, I will see you on the next video thanks for watching